Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about scientific notation. We're in section 3e in your book, and we're going to start with example 21. Um, so it just wants us to express these numbers in scientific notation. And 0 0.1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Um, so scientific notation, we need to write a number that's in between 1 and 10. So that number for this is going to be 3.76 times 10. And when we move our decimal place, we are going 1, 2, 3, 4 places. And so it is 10 to the 4th. Okay, and the way that we know if this is positive or negative is is this number does this number need to be boosted to get to this number or does it need to be reduced to get to this number? Since three point seven six is smaller than thirty seven thousand six hundred, it needs to get boosted, so it's a positive exponent. This one will work a little bit different, so we're just going to get eight point six from this times ten. And then we move one, two, three, four, five, six to get to that spot. It's a negative six, however, because 8.6 is larger, so we need to reduce it to get it down to that number. And now we're going to look at example 22, and it just wants us to go the other way. Okay, so I'm just going to write my 3 and 2 without a decimal, and I'm going to start where my decimal would be and move it two places, 1, so I'm going to go 1, 2, there's a spot for 1, 0 right there, and so my answer is 320. Right here I'm going to write my 576, my decimal would be here but I'm going to go in the negative direction. One, two, three, four, five. So I have a zero, a zero, a zero, a zero, a zero. And that is what uh, in regular decimal notation would be for this value. Um, that is everything for this section. If you need additional help, come to Math Lab and Calculator.